I'll come back to another episode. Yeah. <laughs> um, we just spent the most beautiful few days at Moody Heads after obviously the last couple of weeks spending around Cape York, which was a nice change being out of caravan parks. Um, but we're moving on today. Yeah, we were hoping to, hoping to fish a saltwater river here, but um, it's just, the weather's not great. And we found another little spot up on the freshwater, same river, just further up, which, which looks even better. Um, and it's a little bit nicer and yeah, there's fresh water there, which is always good. So we've only got two more, two more nights and then uh, we're on for a Melbourne Cup event. So yeah, we're gonna cruise in, cruise in this little track down here and chase some barra and some cherubim and just, yeah, go and enjoy it all. Yeah, stay tuned, <laughs> we'll see you at the next camp. Not too bad. I'm not a monster for these things, but yeah, not too bad. It's a good start anyway. Ideally I'd like barrel but So it's over a bit fun. These are a different species to what we're used to. Um, yeah, down on the east coast. Pretty sure anyway, let me know if I'm wrong. Uh, stinky little fish, aren't they? It's a good bit of fun, good start. Alright, that'll do. That was just a quick, quick little explore. I haven't come far at all. It's uh, middle of the day, so it's pretty hot. So. We just got here obviously, so I'm gonna uh, go have some lunch and then come back out for the other. Got one fish there, which is good. Little tiger, which is, I was expecting tigers. I got told there's, there's heaps up here, so. Um, but yeah, we're hoping for barra, so. I think, cause it's really, but we can't really see, it's, it's really shallow. I mean, it looks incredible, the whole place. But it's quite, um, it's quite sort of shallow, lots of timber, that sort of stuff, so. I think I'm gonna change this afternoon. I'll probably go the other way as well, but I think I'll put on like a weedless plastic, something that I can get right in there and, and let go right down into the timber. I'm just tipping they might be a bit wary, especially while the sun's up. So uh, the other cool thing I didn't tell you is this morning, we've um, we've found a uh, like a lagoon off this river. It obviously is a, a tributary in the wet, but um, looking on the maps and that, it looks pretty well. It looks pretty well dry. Uh, it looks like it's like landlocked, so it's all dry on the way in. So, so we're going to try and hit that tomorrow morning, which is going to be really cool. 
what we're going to do is, is boat down the river a couple of k's um, and then we're going to hike inland. Yeah, we're going to get up, Charlotte and I are going to get up early and hit that, which, um, yeah, that should be really cool. I'm hoping there'll be some, some landlocked fish in there and yeah, maybe a big donkey, but uh, yeah, we'll bring you along. That'll be pretty cool. Anyway, let's see you out here in Savvy. Right, I think I mentioned it before. Um, I just decided to change to a plastic, so I've just got a little shrimp style on a weedless hook um, yeah just it's a bit sort of shallow and there's a lot of timber and that so I'm hoping that I can get right up in there and, and I'm not gonna let it go right down whereas the diver is only limited to how deep it can go so I'm just gonna fish all this and then down there's that deep bank goes around that side so I'm hoping by the time I finish this that sun will be down a little bit It'll be a bit shady over there but yeah, this turns out this place is tidal, so I just thought it was the, the fresh water running out yesterday. Um, but yeah, we just came back and the boat was sitting up on a rock where it was, the rock was underwater before. So yeah, it's a little bit of run, which um, yeah, well, that's a good thing, so. Another toga. Yeah. Oh, he's a decent sized one. He's not too bad. He's a bit bigger than the last one. So it's a barrel. Oh, yeah. It's not bad, they get a lot bigger. Oh, Slow down, boy. Oh, the Saratoga. Yeah. Very strange looking fish. Yeah, it's like, oh, fuck. oh, bugger. I nearly caught one. <laughs> Was it Saratoga? I don't know. It looked like it. Oh, dear. Yeah. That's the trouble with the. It's just going to say in there, I reckon. Just watch that anchor in. I just thought it was just weed for a second, and I was like, hang on, no, that's dug, 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 that's, that's a bite. Yeah, he's just come and just grabbed it. That's what they do, they just slap it in. Um, if you feel that, yeah, um, yeah, as soon as you feel it, or you think it's a fish, give it to it. Because it, because it, you've got to push that, you know, okay. see what I mean? Push that hook through. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's good. I was like, oh yeah, that's not really that good of a cast. It's like the time with the barramundi. Yeah, well, but that's what I mean, like. And now it's getting, the sun's getting down, the water's not as clear, so um, they're not, they're not going to be tucked right up under that weed.
morning. Um, we were just talking about how crazy the tides are here. This is a freshwater river, but it obviously gets affected by the tides down on the coast. And I'm hoping you can see it on the GoPro. The line of where the high tide was last night versus now. And it's still on its way out, so. Yeah, it's crazy. Full, full freshwater river, it's this tidal. This is where all the drinking water comes from. It's proper freshwater. But it's tidal. Never seen the likes of it. the morning as you would have seen coming down the river so we're going to find this secret water hole secret lagoon so we're um yeah we've come about two k's down the river um and it should be about a five or six hundred meter walk west inland and then well it's actually towards the coast here but yeah in that way and we um hopefully we'll get some water so yeah we got water supplies People lures, sat phone, GPS, everything we need. So let's go and have a look. Hopefully we can find some big fish. Large landlocked fish. So and then hopefully still get home before it gets too warm. We nearly didn't come because the boat was so beached this morning because of these stupid crazy tides in a freshwater river. And the boat was well not even beached, she was rocked. Yeah, she was up on the rocks. Yeah, so we managed to <clears throat> get her off, which was good. But we're not here quite as early as we'd like, but we're still keen to explore, so let's take you on with us. So we've got a trusty Garmin with the points in that we need to go, so hopefully we don't get lost. Should be fine with this guy. Yeah, we'll figure it out. If it was just me, we'd be worried. What have you done? You've caught yourself. Yeah. yeah, caught a wild chain Here, please, hold this. Please free me. Please free you. Come here, where are you? There you go. <laughs> Our first roadblock is dense scrub, which is to be expected, but still. I'm glad I bought the first aid kit, that's for sure. Mark is still over there a bit. Yeah. But we don't know exactly where that is, so whether we go left or right. I reckon if we go left, it's probably going to get us to water quicker. I was attacked by a tree. Oh, yeah, you got to watch them. Yeah. Um, Obviously, um, this would all be underwater in a wet season. All right, let's go for an explore and yeah, have some water. Oasis coming out of the bush. There you go. Oh, that must be so satisfying, Shane. Eh? It's pretty cool. Look at that. Should the boat. Should have bought the boat. Nice yeah. work. Oh, of course, there's snook in here. Yeah, well, Shane's first cast straight away gets a bite, but it's a bloody snook all the way out here. Yeah. Open. Yeah. It's not open. Still beautiful, eh? Yeah, it's pretty cool. 
Why did I not bring the drone? Yeah, that's exactly what we need, really. Yeah. Flying up and down all the catways. Oh, I was just changing the GoPro battery over. Oh. I've got it. Saratoga? Yeah. They're thick around here, hey. Oh, no. Uh, Ah. You got snagged? No, nah, he swiped it. I thought he did it. You went too early. No, he. Well, no, I just. Yeah, he didn't. He didn't actually bite it. It's very frustrating because we can literally see fish everywhere in here, but because the reeds are so thick, you just can't get near the water's edge, and it's a nightmare to walk along the river the water oh it is very wet down here isn't it there's also a big indentation in the reach just going here i might take the GoPro off and show you i'm not sure if you can see but literally just from there there's like a slide going all the way down here yeah, I reckon that's yeah. <laughs> we're thinking crocodile so maybe go try a different spot He's really trying to hunt this fish. It's like the fish is taunting him. So we're going to try one more spot. See how we go. See if we can get a spot that's a little bit better and closer to the water. Um, if not, we might cruise back to the boat and do some fishing off the boat. Which is always the things when you come and investigate these areas. You never know what you're going to get until you show up. I'm going to take my eye out with that thing. <laughs> so let's go. If I can drag you away from this yep, spot. Got him. <laughs> He's only a little guy. But... Oh, no way. Just a little Why one. Why is a baby yeah. one? There's a couple in there. He's a smaller guy. How are you going to throw him back in? You have to lob him. Yeah, I'm going to have to give him a yeet. And... It's just, just a wee Saratoga, but <laughs> there was bigger ones, didn't there? Yeet. Oh, Belly flop. <gasps> I can't believe that. Just when I was like, oh, I'm never going to drag him away. You want to stay here and try and catch another <laughs> thing? One more cast. One more cast. Go on then. It's... Oh, yep. Oh, he dropped it. He's straight onto that. It's just so hard because it's so hard to land them as well. All right, one more. Yeah. Oh. No. They're really hard to hook up. I think these hooks need to sharpen. Do you want to check my lure out? Yours will be even harder because it's it's weedless. But okay. I'm on with a new lure. I'm gonna give this a go. This is my little plastic. <laughs> Bets are on how quickly it takes me to snag it. And Shane has gone through investigating. We are both sweating up a storm. It is muggy. Oh, bloody hell! <laughs> oh my god, they gave me a heart attack! That's good, eh? Oh. Jeez, I'm glad you moved it for a second. Yeah, I didn't think it would take long. Oh, that's good. Better? I think so, yep, yeah. go again. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Up in. And just drag him in real quick over those reeds. Just a little guy. Oh, he's double hooked himself. You've got a habit of doing that. With them. Oh, bless you! This one. Go far out, we'll get you a big one. 
Oh, listen to it croaking. Yeah, perfect. Here we go. Oh. Oh. Pause it, pause it. Save it. There you go again, you don't want to move it too quick. Leave it, leave it. There you go again. Ooh. Oh, he's right behind it. Just wait there, wait there, wait there. Wait. No, bring it in. <laughs> It doesn't, yeah. It I probably won't show up on this camera, but he was right, right there. there. Up him, up him, up him, you got him. Oh. oh! He had it in his mouth. He's right there. Yeah, try and cast again. See, I don't know if he'll come back. But... <sighs> you go. I'm smelling. It was big. Oh! <laughs> oh! <it's... gasps> Little bro. No! Oh, the poor fishy. No, you will pick it out. Wow, I've never seen that before. Do you want to show the camera? Huh. You look completely broke. A bib rip straight off, I've never seen that before. That lure is very old though, it's caught a lot of fish. Damn, I really like that lure. Because it caught you a lot of fish. Yeah, bugger, he was a big one too. He was and a he big one. he did come back. Get your lure free. I'm trying. I think it was, Ooh. That's, did you not see that in his mouth? No! Yeah, so he had your lure in his dog. I didn't even feel him take it though. No, that's what happens, you don't. Oh, there's one out there. Come on. There he is. Here we go, he's on it. Yep, got him. Oh, he dropped it again. God damn it. Oh. Nice. It's, it's cool because you just sight cast them. You can see them come and eat it, but. I don't know, I don't know why, I just can't get any of the stick. I'm gonna strike any harder, I'll rip the bloody face off. There's one right there. Oh, too close to him, dickhead. Just scared him off. Oh, there's heaps here. Yep. Yep, got him. Oh, and he's dropped it again. Seriously. What the f We're gonna call it there and start heading back to the boat. Just Shana's hooking heaps, but not managing to land them. Uh, hooks aren't staying in particularly well. Bloody bony males with the Saratoga. So, cruise back to the boat. Probably fish some snags on the way back, no Shano. You won't be able to resist them. And go back and have some lunch and relax. 
How does that sound, Shane? Sounds good. Beer? Yeah, I could do a beer. <laughs> this is a terribly unlucky spot. <laughs> I don't know how many fish we hooked and didn't land, and a couple big ones at the end. Plus, I just broke my rod. I think I got the lure snagged and pulled it off, and it hit the hit the rod midway up, and then the next bend it just broke. So, yeah, so I'm not overly happy. It was cool to come in here, but yeah. Sometimes you just have to count your losses and cruise. <laughs> How good is GPS? Probably can't see it. Well, it says boat. <laughs> and here is said boat. That looks like a boat. Yeah. But yes, if you don't have a GPS sat phone, Garmin, we highly recommend that you get one. They are incredible. Especially if you want to do this sort of stuff. Oh, see, it's nice stood here in the shade with that breeze. <laughs> Oh dear. Why am I so clumsy? I've managed to get myself hooked on the rope. How are you feeling now? You look very relaxed. I'm pretty relaxed. How's your beer going down? Very nicely. Very yeah. nice. You've got to have a beer after you go fishing. Mm -hmm. Especially when you go hiking as well. Bit of bush bashing. Mm. Uh, but are you going to go for a fish this Savvy? Yeah, I'll go back out this afternoon. So, right. you will see Shane then? I'll just set up my backup rod. Oh well. Alright, we'll see you at the Savvy when you're on the water. See you then. G'day. I'm back for the Arvo sesh. Yeah, it's a good, good little sesh this morning. Bit, bit frustrating, very frustrating in fact. But now, what you get that? Uh, so I set up the travel rod. It's the only other sort of, the only other spin rod that I've got. I've got the, I've got a baitcaster video with these and the spin. So um, yeah, I'm gonna flick that around and we'll see what happens. Probably end up with some toga, but hey, it's all fun. So let's get into it. Mint looking a little snaggy. I'm just gonna try. And just the front side of it. And a little tiger. Spun around a tail 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 with myself. Oh yeah, not a bad one. Not too bad. Not monsters, but That was insane, the amount of fish on that one snag. Well, probably, I don't know, I got six or something off there. And then a couple more, just, just the next one along. So, it's weird, it's a, you know, it's fresh water, but you can clearly see the, the influence of having a, well, yeah, the influence of the tide is having on the fish. So, I'm gonna go and look for that same thing a bit further down the river. It was just deep water with a big snag. Um, and the tide was pushing past it. I think I'm just coming to the bottom of the tide, so I don't think I'm gonna have much more run, but um, it seemed to be the same yesterday when I caught those fish, it was on a, 
it was on a bend so deep water and a big snag in the water there so because all the other snags along here are fairly shallow and they're, they're you know it's deeper at the at the sides but yeah so i'm just going to putt on down the river see if i can find the same thing and hopefully get another few fish for the day. It's not that late but I'm starting to get hungry and thirsty and whatnot. So it was a pretty pretty good day on the water though really. Um, well hiking in this morning and then a yeah, little larvae session pretty happy with that. Yeah if we don't uh, if we don't see again we might come out in the morning and do uh, a quick morning session but we gotta take off pretty early tomorrow. Uh, so yeah, it'll just be a real brief one if we do. Um, yeah, if we don't see it, thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments there is, you know, if you like this sort of content, obviously this is a bit different to um, us just traveling around, you know, it's pretty much just fishing. Um, but yeah, let me know what you're here for. Let me know what you like. Um, I like doing this sort of stuff, as you can probably tell. Um, but yeah, obviously, yeah, we, we're trying to grasp what what uh what everyone really likes so pop it in the comments let us know um yeah but i'll see you again in the morning then thanks for watching see you next week